Welcome back to Full On Football. That wasn't too long to wait for us to get back, was it? Uh, of course, as I said, this is now our State League segment and we're motoring right along because we've got more footage in this match, in this uh, segment. And joining us uh, today, which we've never had him on the show, so it's great to have him, is Peter Wayne from Enfield City Falcons. Welcome to Full On Football. Thanks, Nat. Yeah, lovely, lovely to be here, for sure. Yeah. Great to have you here. Look, uh, I say you're a, a well-seasoned player. That's, I guess, mature. another name for saying a yeah, you're a bit of a mature player. But <laughs> Hey, you're still coming up with the goods. It's interesting to watch you play. Yeah, I, I do get that a fair bit. Uh, I get it from my uh, competitors as well. They uh, they always rib me about my age and stuff like that, but uh, I give them as good as I get. So, And I keep my body pretty fit, so uh, that's why I'm still playing. But uh, I love the game and uh, eventually, hopefully, the coach and uh, put something back into the game a bit more. I coach at the moment under 15s uh, Enfield and yeah. they're doing it right. So. Oh, fantastic. That's yeah. interesting to hear. Uh, interesting to also to hear that you do give as good as you get because we're actually going to see a bit of that in the footage that we've got coming up. But um, the game against uh, West Adelaide, um, a very tight match to start with, wasn't it? Yeah, it was indeed. Um, give as good as you get. Um, obviously, your first game of the season uh, didn't get a minute. Uh, sat on the bench the whole game, but... Uh, I don't just walk away from things like that, I just put, uh, put in hard at uh, training the next nights and uh, got half an hour in the second game at NAB and felt like uh, I changed the game. A few of the senior players there more or less said that I was probably best on ground in 30 minutes, uh, even though I didn't get the, uh, the accolades. But um, yeah, and then uh, Pete, Pete's rewarded me with a full st like a start um, in the third game. Uh, which uh, straight away uh, I thought that uh, I'd make sure that I did, it, did everything I could possibly do. I can actually uh, stay on the ground. Yes. attest to that, that Peter does look after himself and at that training in particular, if there's a player that any young youngster, I know we've got a couple of youngsters in here tonight, but anybody to model yourself on at training, Peter would be the one that's 100% all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I've seen that at training myself mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, I think you'll probably be starting this week, mate. I, I would. Uh, yeah, I, I going on what I've heard anyway. I feel in my own uh, shoes this week. Uh, I'm not one for normally knowing whether you start or not, uh, but I feel this week that uh, I think Pete will uh, go with an unchanged side, uh, even though we had a couple of our better players away this this week um, with the Grand Prix, etc. But yeah. uh, that's their problem. Uh, they're away. I think they they may have to miss out again. Now the makeup of the squad. Uh, uh, this gentleman here took a few players away from you yeah. <laughs> this year. Um, Bit of a mix of uh, old, but a lot of young, older players, but a lot of younger players in there as well. In in the infield side, yes. yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, John said a couple of nice things there, just to try and butter me up. <laughs> we'll just uh, keep that distance <laughs> between the two of you. There. Uh, me and John have been friends for a long time, and uh, John is a new coach. Has uh, obviously had to do what he has to do to to make a uh, in the uh, Super League. Uh, it's a strong league. Um, mm. So he's got to build a strong team, and uh, he's done well. And uh, John will vow that I've texted him yeah. when, he, when I first knew that he had the job, and uh, congratulated him. And hopefully, he does, does all his best. Um, yeah, and the boys that have left, like you said, of uh, a couple of young boys, but uh, Super League's where young boys should be playing. Mm. That's uh, where they get noted. So. Yeah, well, I will say that there's a couple of players that have left uh, Enfield that have gone back. Uh, obviously, Peter Kukulis, is, yes. uh, yeah, he yeah. was at Raiders and he's gone back to Enfield. And also, Dimi Parhas, he was out at Campbelltown and he's come back as well. And he was on the score sheet on the weekend. So yeah, that's a big bonus yeah. getting those two back. Yeah, Dimi scored a nice goal, actually. Mm. Yeah, lovely ball in from Richie Kuna. Um, yeah, and hit the spot beautiful. Where the, Dimmy uh, smacked it in with his head lovely. So. And he yes. let me know about that after the match as well. Yes, so he let's, would, would, yeah. he will, and we'll look at that in a minute shortly. But let's have a look at the results for uh, round three for the Divine Home State League. And um, interesting results they were. We had NAB in Playford uh, drawing one all. Uh, Frasina scoring for NAB and Reeves scoring for Playford. Seaford five, Gawler two. Seaford getting their first ever third win in a row for the club's amazing, history. Isn't it? I did speak Fantastic. With the congratulations, Benny, Benny Dale, and congratulations to Seaford. Brilliant stuff. Um, uh, they're going to be partying hard down there, and hopefully they'll be able to get on with it. Uh, the young Anderson uh, up front is scoring too. Makochi scoring uh, a brace, and so did uh, another Brent. seasoned player, Trajanovsky. Yeah. So uh, yeah. good stuff for them. And they've also got Bradley Armas. They uh, have, they have. Yeah, yeah they're Bradley doing had very a few well. In our time, yeah, so. that <laughs> he has an <laughs> in with everyone. Um, and Gaul, for Gawler, Trimboli and Dunkley scoring. Uh, Western District Toros and the Cove drawing one also. A bit of a hiccup there for the Cove. But th apparently they were down to 10 men from the 10 minute yes, mark of the match. That, yeah. So Tamarca scoring for Toros and O'Reilly scoring for the Cove. 
uh, of course, uh, Port Piri City 4, Norlanga 1, McGuinness scoring 2, De Gioia scoring and Caputo for Port Piri City and Nelson scoring for Norlanga and of course the, your match, uh, uh, you were defeated uh, West Adelaide 1-0 and uh, Pahas uh, scoring that goal. I'd like to go to the footage, uh, Peter, and I'd like you to talk us through some of this footage. <laughs> now, as I said to you, um, watching this game and editing this match, uh, if we can get go to that footage, um, it took me a long while to actually play to see a bit of football being played because there was a lot of argy bargy going on here, especially with the referee. Yeah, there was um, last week against NAB. I think uh, they they dragged us down to their level, which is uh, is uh, something that we've got to work on. Uh, West Adelaide, obviously, a better side, um, and we weren't going to let them just uh, have their own way on their own park, which is a beautiful park to play on to play soccer on. Now, too. of course, Markovic, their top goal scorer. What 